Welcome and thank you for joining in to today's Positive Forward Motion. This is your host, Denise Scattergood. Each week I discuss a topic that is designed to help you get more of what you do want and less of what you don't want, both personally and professionally. My goal is to add value to others by sharing a topic in eight minutes or less, topics that will empower, motivate, and inspire you to have more happiness and success. Today's topic is, if I had a million dollars. This episode is short and sweet, so pay close attention. I'm going to share with you all my million dollar rule. We've all been in a situation where someone close to us has let us down, or maybe we've overheard a spouse or sibling, coworker, friend, or family member complaining about somebody who let them down, and we stop and think to ourselves, are you kidding me? How did you not know that was going to happen? Or how did you not see that coming? Well, here's what's happening. You see it so clearly, and here's why. Because you're not in the middle of all the stress and drama, but the other person is. It's like they're standing in the middle of the street and a semi is headed straight for them, and you're doing everything in your power to warn them and tell them, waving your arms, hollering, but they just don't hear you. Or worse yet, they choose not to hear you. And we've all been there, so wrapped up at times that we just don't see things as clearly as we should. And everyone claims to hate drama, but somehow many find themselves in it way too often. Some people are drama junkies and they thrive in it because it gives them a sense of importance. Some people create it and then swoop in as the savior to fix whatever caused it. Well, how would you like to learn how to navigate through drama and stress with ease? Well, this is where my million dollar rule comes in handy. So here's what you do. When you have two situations, situations where you cannot control the outcome, it was either going to happen this way, where you're happy and excited about it, or maybe it's going to happen a way where you're going to be frustrated and a little disappointed. Stop, become more aware and ask yourself, if you had a million dollars, I mean, really imagine that huge pile of money. $1 million, and you had to place your bet on which way it was going to go. Where would you have put your money? You know what? You're going to put it where you know the outcome is going to be. And if you already know the outcome, then why all the drama? Leave the drama at the movies where it belongs. Drama exists at the movies for a reason. It's entertaining. What it does, it gives us a distraction. We're attracted to drama in the movies, much like many are attracted to it in the real world, even if people claim they're not. Drama is caused by a distorted thought, and we always have the option and the choice to engage or disengage in the events about to unfold. So stay away from distorted thinking and distorted thinkers. Just be real. Use the million dollar rule. And when someone is unloading on you about their problems and drama, just listen. They're looking for an ear, not always an opinion. This will keep you from engaging in the situation, which can escalate the problem. Don't talk. Don't discuss. Don't look for a solution. Let the negative energy die down before engaging in any conversation. And when you do engage in the conversation, remember, you now have the million dollar rule on your side. Rather than get wrapped up in the energy-sucking situation, step back, assess, and ask yourself, where would you have placed the million-dollar bet? Ask them, where would they have placed their million-dollar bet? They are going to look at it completely differently. And I've used this philosophy to keep things real, and it has really saved me a lot of time, energy, money, and stress. And listen, I'm all about positive thinking and hoping for the best, but sometimes we set ourselves up for disappointment and then we go on and on complaining about something we could have predicted in the first place. Think of a situation that has happened in the past. You can usually look back and think, yep, if I had a million dollars, I would have bet on that outcome. So here's the deal. Stop losing sleep and going on and on with the drama. Use the million dollar rule philosophy to predict your outcomes. Or if you have a disappointing situation right now and it's causing you unhappiness, stop. Reflect on the situation. Go back to the million dollar rule and ask yourself, where would you have placed your bet? Then pick yourself up, stand tall, adjust, and keep moving forward. Thank you for supporting Positive Forward Motion. And don't forget to tune in every Wednesday for a brand new episode that will empower, motivate, and inspire you to be your best both personally and professionally. 
And as always, you can find a free PDF worksheet of my action steps under each podcast episode on my website, denisescattergood.com. And if you'd like to stay in the know of all things positive forward motion, like workshops and special events, be sure to connect with me on Instagram and Facebook at Denise Scattergood. You can find me on Twitter at Alert Trainers. You can also text the word positive to 313131. 31, and you'll be opted in for updates and daily doses of positivity. If you enjoyed this episode, please review and share to help spread our message of positivity. And remember, no matter how small your step is, as long as you take it in the right direction, that's what I call positive forward motion. <music>